Hey, hey, welcome back and welcome to Hitchinbrook Island. Yes, yeah, it's the first time that we are coming to this beautiful island, tropical. We're here for four days and we'll take you along the adventure. So three nights in the, in the same night. It looks almost like Hawaii. It's completely prehistoric looking. It's only us and two other guys and on the island at all times there's a maximum of 40 people. So yeah, that's going to be Should amazing. be nice and quiet. It'll be cool. So we've got crocodiles to contend with and apparently <laughs> rats that will eat right through an expensive tent. So we've got to be careful of those no. at night time apparently. We're going to climb this peak here. It's a bit of an optional extra and it is cooking. It must be at least, what, 30, 32 yeah, degrees it's today. Yeah, hot, but I think it's beautiful weather. Oh, Absolutely insane. Look at this place. So yeah, we're stranded here for four days and then we get picked up in that rib boat again. Nice, right. let's do it. And we have just arrived and he's already eating his snacks. Got to eat my Perkinana bar, <laughs> but it already melted. <laughs> now the rats can't get it, only me. <laughs> Right, so we're almost at the end of the beach. Time to put the shoes on and get to camp. Today we're aiming to go to Little Ramsey Beach and we'll go along the way to Nina Peak. Looks beautiful. How are we doing? Sweaty. <laughs> Literally. A 360 degree view. How's that breeze up there? <laughs> well deserved. Oh my gosh. Wow. And this is another highest elevation on Ancient Brook Island. This is only like 230 meters something. It felt like way more. Oh my god, we're cooking. Especially me. If you haven't watched like a few recent videos. I'm now 19 weeks pregnant. I feel a little bit more on fit than I used to, a little bit heavier, but I'm still glad I managed to it. get up the hill. Did as well another steep climb in Wash Pyramid not a long time ago, so yeah, that's nice. Feel, feels good. Very proud fiance. Very <laughs> proud fiance. They're doing so well. Ah, oh, it's only day one. We've got just to let you know as well in total 32 kilometers to do in four days, so that's pretty good distance overall. But yeah. Nah, the view from the top, definitely worth it. So if you do the Forsman Trail on Hitchinbrook Island, you don't have to do this peak here, but uh, I think it's worth it. It's so, so nice. At least we could leave our big heavy packs down below <laughs> yeah. and just carry water. We'll get the drone up and have a little look-see. So this is the beautiful Nina Bay. So we've been hiking for another, probably an hour since the peak. And it was actually mostly downhill and a bit of flat. Terrain's changing a little bit, went through a few creek beds and now on this lovely beach. And again, just no one around apart from the two lads we started with. You've probably noticed by now that the old uh, beautiful moustache is gone. Unfortunately, uh, it had to go because it was actually starting to annoy me. I was eating it the whole time. There was a bit of a segment going on with the moustache, so I'll roll that now. A huge thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. They were very generous and gave me $400 towards my GoFundMe, which is for the Beyond Blue Foundation. Now, if you remember from a few videos ago, I wanted to raise $1,000 for mental health. 
and then I would shave my mow off. Now unfortunately I'm not quite at the thousand dollar mark and some of you did donate so thank you so much. Not quite at my target so if you would like to donate I'll leave that link in the description that would be really great. Now Manscaped they are everything to do with men's balls, butt and body in terms of grooming and shaving. So they are going to sponsor me shaving off the mow today, which Ange is incredibly excited about. Now Manscaped sent me the Performance Package 4.0, which is gonna be well and truly up to the task of shaving my mow off. Now that arrived in this really nice packaging, this cool box here. It's got like newspaper articles and stuff. Now, I don't know about you guys, I know I'm in the target algorithm, I assume, but I've been seeing Manscaped videos popping up on my feed for a couple of years now, and they're really well done and often really funny, but the packaging's cool as well. So, the main thing I got, this cool bag, and in here we have got the Lawn Mower 4.0. So, we've got LED light, ceramic coated blades, fully waterproof and it has a travel lock on it so if you press it three times rapidly it will lock and won't sound like a vibrator in your bag at the airport that is what's going to do the big job for me today also i received from them the weed whacker now this is a ear and nose trimmer really nifty as well and both of those charge via usb with the charging dock looking really really nice for that lawnmower also got from them the crop preserver which is the ball deodorant and also the crop reviver which is the ball toner now something i haven't used but uh, i'm looking forward to it so if you use the code outfit you'll receive 20 percent off as well as two gifts and international shipping now the two gifts are one of them being the bag and the second one being these really nice boxes so let's get on top of that because they do make a really nice shaver. I've already used it for shaving this and it's, it does an awesome job. Okay. For the moment of truth that all the ladies have been waiting for. Yay. I'm quite sad about this actually. <laughs> but never mind. Because I suppose I can't do any spear fishing if I've got a moustache like this. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, it's a sad day, folks. It's a sad day. But yeah, please donate to my GoFundMe. I'll put the link in there. Alright, let's get going. <laughs> oh, it's so thick. Oh. And ginger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no, this is a terrible look. Okay. Shouldn't turn it off. I'm back. Wow. Is that better end? The transformation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss it already. I feel like, like I can run really fast. <laughs> so yeah, huge thank you to Manscaped. And uh, yeah, back to the main show. Don't you all agree that it looks better without the moustache? Team Ange. Yeah, whatever. Got the face of a butt. Need the moustache. Lead us to camp. <laughs> Man, this is actually harder than I thought it was going to be. We did some serious terrain today. We've done a few one night overnight hike in New South Wales before starting our trip with the jeep. And yeah, we did some really enjoyable one. If you're in New South Wales, do the castle overnight hike. Definitely one of the nicest memory we've got from over there. But yeah, this is the first time that we're doing longer than one night. So you can definitely feel the weight in the backpack. And I've got a huge, huge respect for people doing much longer hike. Like in Tassie, you've got like the Overland Track or as well in WA, the, I'm probably gonna butcher that, the Bibble Boom, Bibble Boom, Bibble Boom, <laughs> Bibble Boom Track. Um, it's yeah, so impressive. Like I don't think I could do that for longer than Three nights. <laughs> I've exhausted. 
Ah, all right. Almost to camp. You have the owners. No crocs on the right. No crocs on the left. Is it refreshing? So nice. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was tiring. How <laughs> hard. Maybe go up over here. <laughs> oh, it's so refreshing. My goodness me. This is definitely very inviting to go for a swim. But you always have to be careful in crack yeah, country. Maybe we'll freshen up just here. Yeah. Maybe just a tiny little dip. All right. I think we can see camp from here. Oh, so exciting. So exciting. How is that for a camp spot view? All right, first time setting up the new Bushbuck Tribus 8000. These legends in New Zealand sent me this, so I kind of asked for the three-man one rather than the two-man. It's gonna be awesome for Ange and I when we're doing little island trips in the boat. So we decided to go for the bigger one. And as well to fit the little baby. You'll need some room as well. True. <laughs> true, true, true. All right, we we'll set it up. We just like. <laughs> How beautiful this camp. So cool, look at that. So we've almost set up the tent, but we've got some friendly neighbors that told us it's the right time to go and get some fresh water of the creek before the tide goes too high. So that's where we're going. We've got our new live straw bottle, which is good. It's got like the filter already inside and you can drink directly out of it as opposed to just having the normal live straw that we had before. Not very cheap, but I think for a hike like this, definitely worth it. On an epic little spot next to camp, nice fresh water. Oh, and I'll just put the filter back in and I can push it up as well. There's the bad boy can. So good, so that's sleeping area and that's the storage <laughs> area there. So this is the bathroom, this Come is on. the living room. <laughs> it's got a full fly inside. Really cool. So spacious. We've also got one of these bush buck uh, sleeping rolls. So that blows up, I'll show you that. And then it's actually got a built-in pillow. But we also, for luxury, <laughs> bought these Sea to Summit foam pillows as well. And then we've also got Sea to Summit, uh, like just little sleeping bags, um, tiny little ones really. So I think we're gonna be relatively warm, we'll see. We might regret it. We're in business. <laughs> and chimney. So cool. Well done. Love it. All right, and it's all set up. That's how it looks like inside. Got so much room, which is amazing. I've got like a memory of all last of the hike. Got like a tiny tent with Chris, and I just remember when you're kind of like squished, and it's just the most uncomfortable night of sleep. I'd say this is glamping. We found two perfectly good seats, a bit of flotsam. <laughs> Camper's Pantry, Tasmanian company, has very generously hooked us up with all our food for this hiking trip. Tonight, Ange is having the mango curry chicken, which actually meant, is meant to serve two, but we skipped lunch today, so we'll probably have one each. I am having the lamb casserole. We're gonna cook these up and Bush Bucks tomahawk cooker, which we haven't used yet, but it looks awesome. Let's set it up. Oh. All right. It's very 
cool. Perfect. Maybe don't put too much and just wait and see and add more to it there. Smells good. I'm sorry. All right, so we failed on the makeshift seats and we came up with a much more comfortable much solution. Better. We much brought better. as well some coils because there are a lot of mozzie around. All right, let's see. How does it feel? Oh my God, this is luxury. Oh, that feels so good on the back. Food's oh. good too. Really like it. Really like it actually. It's gonna be quite a filling meal tonight, which is exactly what we need. It's too dull for me. <laughs> and this is where we hang our food, so the ratty rat. Don't eat it. Hopefully nobody steals it. <laughs> okay, you at night time going into someone's snack. But the great thing with the Adrudid food is there's very minimal cleaning. There's no dishes, which is great. Just have a little bit of rubbish and that's it. Nice and compact. I've got my little dessert for tonight. Some baby food. <laughs> Yum. And this is what sunset is like. That's so special to finally be on an island. So, so stunning. Can't wait. We're going to wake up tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. to see the sunrise. So the sunrise will be over the ocean. So that's going to be even more beautiful. But for now, I think we're going to have an early night sleep. Not too sure what's the plan, but yeah, early night sleep probably. How did you sleep? <laughs> could be better, could be worse. Yeah, for 10 sleep, I think. We did pretty good, we made like a little adjustment. We're a bit hot at first, there's just no breeze here. Here we opened the zip, the main one, and just closed the doors, that was much better. We did get visited by a rat in the night, <laughs> but it doesn't look like it's eaten anything in our We bags, couldn't, so. but we're a bit scared it was going to make a hole in our bags, which is not be ideal because my bag is brand new Chris as well is in really good condition so so having a morning drink here unfortunately I made a terrible choice with my choice of cup don't bring an aluminium cup when you've got hot drinks because you cannot drink out of them so I'm gonna have to wait for Chris to finish his drink so I'm sculling mine <laughs> no. uh, but that was yeah probably like 10 hours of sleep went to bed super early I mean we didn't sleep the entire night woke up around midnight because of the rat I woke up quite a lot of times did you yeah. not wake up any other time? I think so but yeah. could sleep no matter what I had like a bit of a lower back pain yesterday but now I feel a bit better so yeah it's nice to wake up nice and early and start earlier today yeah we've got a beautiful sunrise so for breakfast I'm having the apple blueberries and hemp porridge apple banana and hemp Mm. It's nice. It's really nice. Nice and filling to start the hike today. Starting to pack as well. You're gonna try to hike before it gets too warm. Mm. That's the plan. All right, let's wrap it up. The beginning of the day two hike. So today is apparently meant to be the toughest of the four days. Seven and a half k. 
10 and a half, 10 and a half kilometers today. So it's not actually great distances, it's just I think there might be some swamp land we've got to get through today. How beautiful is this? Nice and early start. Yeah. Something out in the ocean, I can't tell if it's fish or a turtle or something. <laughs> Every time I look at the water now, I think of how good it would be to have the boat out. <laughs> Especially right now. Oh, I'm so pumped. So pumped. So with that boat, we're hoping we'll be able to do little island adventures. Maybe some overnighters. And uh, this is kind of prepping for it a little bit, I guess. Yeah. All right. We will bring you along. Show you any kind of interesting things that we see. Not too much boring footage of us just hiking. All right. How are you feeling? Pretty good. It's not as hard as yesterday so far. So I think we're about quarter of the way. Got this beautiful little waterfall and creek here. Going all the way down. So we just came from down that way. Now we're heading up. We're about to get to, I think what they say is the hottest part of the hike, which is called Banksia Saddle. So we'll probably be there. That's kind of roughly our halfway point. Then after that, I think we get a bit of a swimming hole. So see where we go. Yay! What's the snack of chairs of Pissy Bay? I think this is called Tropical Mix from Coles. This has got like papaya and coconut and nuts and it's delicious. Mm. Nice. For me, I kind of like make my own. I bought some cacao almonds from Woolworths. They're very delicious, those ones. And then I've got a mix that I've made. I've got some banana chips, some dried apples, some dried figs. Yeah, dried fruit is really good to give you like a good sugar heat and then the nuts like for some fat so that you can have that a bit less of a spike for your blood sugar levels yeah so it should be halfway point hopefully not too much elevation it's been pretty flat actually to come here like lots of dense rainforest and not as hot as yesterday oh yeah much less hot than you said we've got some nice cloud cover today which is good no easy easy peasy so a little break and a carry on all right, this one was a bit too deep. Close to go with the shoes. How is it? Right. The Columbia hiking shoes we've got. We've been so happy with them. They're like super comfy and they're waterproof. We could technically... Oh, bear with me. We could technically hike with those, but we just don't want to have wet feet. So... This is why we just remove them. Gosh, it's slippery. Okay, I'm not gonna stop the GoPro to focus what I'm doing. Yay! Oh my god. Finally. Awesome. Is that it? <laughs> Are we sure? <laughs> Where's the camp? Yeah. That last kilometer killed me. Please, very kindly. I was afraid to carry some of my water because I was exhausted. All right, I need to run camp. <laughs> and this is our camp for the night. Yay. <laughs> We're still low energy right now. <laughs> So there are actually a few camps that when you arrive, so it's good, like this one looks a bit private, it's further away from the mangrove, so we shouldn't be too bothered by midges and mozzies, hopefully. <laughs> and we arrived just before 12 o'clock, so we made it here in four and a half hours, which I think is really good. I think on the National Park website it was saying five hours for memory or maybe even more. So yeah, we did really good progress today. So we're gonna have lunch, we're just sharing Actually no, we're just having an electrolyte tablet that oh. we did yesterday as well just to replenish. And boiling some water. And boiling some water. And this tomahawk is sick. It works so well. Never had one of these style oh. of, of yeah, burners and it, it's really good. And what do we have for lunch? 
we have tuna salsa. <laughs> so we're gonna half this and put it on wraps. Hmm. And then I'll probably actually have a coffee. So I'm gonna be bouncing off the wall. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we good. Oh, I was gonna show um, our pack. So a few years ago, I bought this pack in New Zealand. It's from a company called Mountain Warehouse. Can't actually see the label on it. And this one's the Inca 80 litre. And that's been really good. I've um, used that for traveling. So took that overseas recently and did some uh, backpacking, not backpacking, kind of mountaineering in New Zealand. So then uh, Ange was looking for a backpack and we looked at a whole heap here and like Anaconda and BCF and stuff like that. Couldn't really find any that was suitable that like worked well for her frame, was adjustable, was a woman's pack as well so that it wasn't too big, uh, had enough storage and also enough attachment points because most bags you can't attach things like tents to them and hiking poles and ice axes and things. So she ended up getting the exact same bag but the woman's version in 65 litre and uh, you're stoked with the bag, hey? Yeah, so far it seems good. Yeah, good. So uh, yeah, Mountain Warehouse um, seems pretty good brand. <laughs> wow, such a stunning waterfall. So this is Zoe Falls at the top of our campsite. It's quite actually a bigger walk than we thought it would be. And we actually realized we have to come back here tomorrow morning as well with our backpacks. And that was the top slug. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty hard, but stunning and very much appreciated right now. The water is perfect temperature. Floors are clean. <laughs> Good. All right, but I can. End of another day. Oh so, my god, we are broken. <laughs> yeah, Zoe Falls was beautiful. It's so nice to have a dip there and ease the sore aching muscles. Now we're going to have very early dinner. It's only 5 p.m. <laughs> we played some Uno. Now we're a bit bored. So we're going to eat early. <laughs> Just go to bed. And then go to bed, I think. Not very exciting. Tonight, last night of the mango curry chicken. Tonight I'm having the cauliflower and pea dal. I think I'm gonna like this one a lot. I'm looking forward to it. It's a lot of food, I'll say. That's gonna fill me up quite well. So yeah, but I knew that after tonight, after two days hike, that was yeah, a lot of walking. We've so got, beautiful though. So a lot beautiful. still to go, mm -hmm. 17K. So yeah, we'll take you along next week. <laughs> and as well, next week, we uh, will have as well the exciting news of being able to uh, give you the gender reveal of a little Yeah, gender baby. reveal. Because <laughs> I've got my ultrasound in a few days. So yeah, we'll be able to share with you. Awesome. Very, very excited. And then I have to do a little DIY baby bed, I think. <laughs> All right, well, awesome. we'll see you next week. Thank you so much, everyone, Cheers, for the support, and we will see you then. See you next week.